All right, let's head to Summer Forest. Hopefully, these cutscenes won't betray me. It probably. Oh no. We didn't get a chance to introduce ourselves before. My name is Alora. Uh, hi, I'm Spyro. What are you, some kind of goat? I'm a fawn, you dork. Oh, sorry. Did you meet the gym cutters in Glimmer? Yeah, they gave me a souvenir, too. They called it a talisman. They gave you a talisman? What, is it special? I just stuck it in the guidebook you gave me. There are 14 talismans in Avalar, and they are all magical. If you can collect enough of them, they can be used to defeat Ripto. Hunter, where have you been? I, uh, got a little lost. Spyro's going to help us collect the talismans. I am? He is. Spyro, look. There's no way you can get to Dragon Shores right now. Ripto and his monsters have taken over the castle here in the Summer Forest. You're going to have to go to Avalar's worlds and convince the inhabitants to give you their talisman. You can keep them in your guidebook. Torch Ripto! Torch Ripto! Keep track of your running shoes! Keep track of your running shoes! Talisman! Talisman! If you come across the orbs, then you come across the orbs. I'm so sad. How has this fucking disc survived all these years and the one time I use it to record shit? <laughs> so sad. Hey, I can do that. Why doesn't the dragon just torch Ripto? Hunter, you can't even keep track of your running shoes. How can we trust you with 14 talismans? If you come across any orbs, they're important too. But I'll tell you about them later. They're more important than talismans, I'm just letting you know that. They're just as, if not more important than talismans. Just, just keep that in mind. Collect orbs. Don't brush them off like the game kind of does. But anyway, here we are in Summer Forest. And there's gems down here. And look, Spyro can swim, kind of. He can swim on the surface of the water, but we can't seem to go under it. But there's got to be some way, because there would be gems down there. Also, are you hearing how, like, pretty the music in the home worlds is? Fucking majestic. Spyro, this is the homeworld called Summer Forest. There are portals to many of the Avalar worlds around here. Unfortunately, Ripto has taken over the castle, and we need your help. Start by retrieving the talismans from each of the worlds you go to. Also, this game has like a funny little quirk where it's like, uh, I don't know where I don't know where they recorded this, but like it's clearly like kind of low quality for the audio. So like all of the all the like consonants in their phrases get fucking emphasized to the umpteenth degree. And I don't know, it, it kind of sounds cool, but I don't know. Anyway, uh, the game for some reason expects you to fall down here, even though it's kind of like a basic glide. Because once you fall, Hunter shows up here and he's like, Yo, dog, let me teach you how to glide. <laughs> Hiya, Spyro. Ripto smashed this bridge, so I guess you'll have to glide across it. Press X to jump, then press X again while you're still in the air to glide. Like, okay. 
I guess Hunter can teach me to fly. He's, that seems to make sense. Oh. Oh. How did you... He's a goddamn wizard. I, of course I want him teaching me things. My god. Alright, so we're just going to collect as many gems as we can here. Oh, by the way, as you can see here, we have 400 gems and 4 orbs in the home world. Alright, so we got some exploring to do. And yes, there are even missions, so to speak, in home worlds. In fact, Hunter is about to give us one right now. Why he won't just give us the orb is uh, anyone anyone's guess, but whatever. That's the way the cookie crumbles, I guess. Oh god. Yes, 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 we've been through this before. I played the first game. What? Okay, Hunter. But do you? Oh wait, hold on. Although I like the way um, the metal, I like the I like the redesigns for the um, the chests. Now instead of just wooden chests and metal chests, it's like baskets and vases. And I, and I really like the sound effect of breaking the vases or the vases or the rabbit woos. I don't know. Hey, Hunter. Hi, Spyro. You look like you're pretty agile. Let's try putting it to a test. See if you can get up this first step. Press X and hold it down to get more hang time. So this little mission from Hunter is just a, uh, a transportation test. This is a little weird because we were just taught how to glide and now he's teaching us again. To get the maximum glide distance. Nice job. Now try to do a bug. Press X to jump. Then press X and tear the bug. Then when you reach the end of the bug, Now this is important because this is new to Spyro 2. Hovering will give you extra height and distance. Hovering will give you extra height and distance. We didn't even need to hover. That's how amazing we are. Meow, we did it. Wow, good. Good apple. I think you are the real for now. It's an orb for your collection. Why didn't you just give this to me? Are you conspiring with Ripto? Hunter's the real villain. Hash hashtag truth is out there. Hello, money bags. Uh, uh, sorry, Spyro. I'd love to teach you how to swim underwater, but not as much as I'd love to take your treasure. 500 gems? Okay, so ain't that nice. He's gonna teach this little dragon how to swim. However, we cannot get 500 gems yet in this homeworld, because the rest of the homeworld is underwater. So we're gonna have to do a level first. Now, we could do the most logical one, Idle Springs, which is right here. But in order to 100% this level, I guess what we need to be able to do. Yeah, so let's go to Colossus, uh, where there's no water. We can just play the level. And by the way, here's one of the reasons Spyro 2 is amazing.
Yep, at the beginning of every level in this game, there's gonna be a little cutscene showing us the problem that the inhabitants are coming across. And it is glorious. Alright, so this is Colossus. We've got these monk dudes, and they've got, like, a fucking big boy eating them. That's no good. So let's see this. A yeti has been rampaging around our home, but we've managed to trap him by shutting all the doors. If you talk to the other brothers, they will open the gates and guide you to him. Alright, so we need to talk to all the monks so we can reach the yeti and, I guess, defeat it. Also, here are these goats that the brothers were transporting with their force powers, I guess. Anyway, we got 400 gems, one talisman, of course, and three orbs to obtain. Don't fall off the cliff, that'd be bad. Got these tiny little penguins as fodder for some reason, I don't know, it's cute. Gotta murder them. By concentrating, I should be able to open this door for you. They actually reuse this idea of talking to NPCs to like open gates and stuff uh, later in the series in Spyro 3. But in that level, they use literal wizards. <laughs> And we've got big, these big boy yaks over here. Oh my god, I didn't realize their tracking was that good. By the way, the roll from Spyro 1 is gone now. We can't, we, we can't roll out of, like, the way anymore. Which, I mean, they're very, I, I don't think I ever used the roll legitimately in Spyro 1, so I, I guess I don't miss that, but I don't know. It was cute looking. It's a key when you know how to chant like this. Yeah. Hello, Zoe. Are too big to charge. Your code attack should easily take care of our You tell me this a little late. I've already had to fight freaking like three of those yaks in this level alone and a bunch of big boys in fucking in glimmer, so. Th thanks for the th th thanks for the update, Zoe. Right, jump down here. Make sure you don't miss these gems. Show no mercy to the enemy. Each time you defeat an enemy, it will release a spirit card. The spirit particles will activate the power-up in that world. If a power-up is inactive, you need to defeat more enemies. Anyone else noticing that Zoe's voice keeps changing from just like kind of high-pitched to very obviously, <laughs> very obviously edited high, edited high-pitched? It's really annoying. I don't know what was, whatever that, I don't know what was going on in the studio, but it's annoying the crap out of me. Hey, look what I can do! I freaking I freaking love this dude. No intro, nothing, just hey, look what I can do. <laughs> also, uh in Typical Spyro fashion, the music in this level is dank. And Remember fucking. Hunter's advice. You will go <sighs> farthest if you press the X button at the very top of your jump. Yeah, this game's a little more hand holdy than the first one. It stops eventually. I th I'm pretty sure. <laughs> oh, almost knocked him off the cliff. Oh god. A lot of billy goats. Oh dear, dear lord. All right, boo, 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 boo. there are enemies over there, and I think they're enough to 
Yep, that's enough to activate the power up, so let's go over here and merc these guys. Yep, that power up is active, so we'll see what it does in just a second. Alright, Nero. It's a shortcut, basically. It's a little spring. But also, we can use the spring to get to these new areas up here. Oh dear lord. Make sure you come over here. These gems are easily missable. And we can enter through here, but we can also come down here where we have... These ain't bottle rockets anymore. These are freaking... These are just tiny missiles. <laughs> Blast that, and bada bing. Give me all these gems. Oh yeah, we have 700 gems now. That's gonna drop by 500 once we get back to Summer Forest. And hey, the professor's in here. Oh my god, and he's being haunted. Save him. Oh, thank goodness you scared that evil spirit away. But now it will hide in the statues. If you were to flame all ten statues, I'm sure you would chase it away for good. Yep, so those uh, golden statues that we've been seeing throughout the level aren't just for show. They're part of this little mission. Now they're all green and angry and not at peace. So we have to flame them to drive the spear out of them until it has no more statues to hide in. We have to find all ten statues. And we haven't seen all ten statues yet. But I know where the other ones are. In fact, they kind of overlap with this other area over here. Up here is this little ice cave. I love this. I love when the level like throws something that could feasibly exist in the level, but doesn't quite fit the theming of the level. Just this really cold-looking ice cave with a statue in it. Like it makes sense. We're in like we're in like high up in the mountains, but it just looks so different from the rest of the level. I mean, I guess it could be related to this ice skating like area down here. Oh, look at that reflection. God damn. So getting, getting a good look at the Yeti. Roar, indeed. Alright, so another new mechanic to Spyro 2 is Spyro can ice skate. While you're on the ice, you move around like this. You're on ice physics. You can't jump, but you can flame. Controls pretty smoothly, but again, you're on ice physics. Yeah, this little... Eh, you can kind of slow down, but you can't really stop. Yeah, you can't really stop, basically. Like, this is me not holding anything, Sprout just kind of keeps going. Oh, and hello, buddy. Ah, Spyro, welcome! We have found that hockey is a peaceful and calming sport. Would you like to join in a match against our goalkeeper? Hockey is peaceful and calming? Buddy, have you... No, never mind. No, I'm not gonna. <laughs> I'm not gonna crush this guy's dreams. All right, I guess we're playing hockey now. We have to score five goals, and we have two minutes. All right, let's do this. So this is combining our newfound abilities of ice skating and picking stuff up in our mouths and throwing them. His AI is pretty easy to exploit. So this mission ain't, ain't too bad. Come here, buddy. Oh, yeah. Sexy. Single ladies. Holy shit. Am I bad at video games? You betcha. Oh my god, Spyro. Nice. How did you do that? Yeah, you can just walk straight, straight into the goal, and Spyro will automatically, like, spit the puck out. <laughs> Oh, 
So I've been ice skating before and I almost broke my leg doing it. Uh, it was like my first time ice skating. And I was getting the hang of like, you know, moving. I, was, I, I wasn't moving with grace at all, but I was getting the hang of forward motion. But then eventually I, I, I slipped because, you know, it's ice skating. And oh, nice. And my leg, like, you ever, you ever see like a, a dan, a dancer, like, who's clearly very flexible, uh, have their legs, like, like, fall to the ground and like look limp, but their legs are like behind them. Yeah, I did this with one of my legs, Al almost fucking like snapped it in half or popped well, it out. I don't know how I didn't. I guess I just have strong bones. <laughs> also, this guy. Absolutely no intro, too. Well done. Have this. Wait a minute. Hold on. Would you like to try a game of one on one? I was born in the darkness. Anyway, we have another hockey mini game to do. This time we actually have an opponent. The first to score five goals wins. You are shooting at a red goal. So we actually have an opponent here. It's a one on one hockey game. We each have a goalie. So I guess we have a teammate. Anyway, this is the most fun part. Ain't this fun. All right. Go over here. No, what are you doing? Oh, dear God. What the fuck? Pass it to me. Sha. Sha. There we go. One goal down. Four more to go. What? Oh, yeah. He can attack us, too. Hockey's a peaceful and calming sport, as you can tell. Whoa, camera. Calm down. Oh my god, he tried. Yeah, if he actually um, checks you, well actually he doesn't even check you, he like high sticks you, but we'll call it checking. If he checks you while you have the puck in your mouth, Spyro automatically has to spit it out. What? Okay, well there goes the skill point. This game has little achievements called skill points that don't like don't do too much for you but they're, they're fun to grab. And one of them you get by completely, what the fuck, Spyro, pick up the puck. One, one skill point you get is for like sweeping this guy, and we just, uh, we just lost that. I don't even think he made it. I think the enemy goalie made it. I wanna cry. I could be wrong, I didn't get the best view, but I'm pretty sure he himself didn't make that. Oh, no, no. What? What? What the f Okay. Does the freaking hockey puck disappear? Because when the hockey- sometimes the hockey puck can disappear and the friggin- the monk will like throw another one in and I think that's what happened. I don't know how it disappeared though. No. Stop. Gimme give gimme. Give Man, we would've gotten a skill point. Well done! Have this! If you stare at it long enough, you might not see anything. Uh, thanks. Six orbs. One more in the level. Alright, I guess, I think we can talk to him again to do another game. Uh, okay, no, we have to leave the level and come back, and then we can, like, do the mission again. We won't get an orb, but we can just like replay the mission if we want to get that skill point. I'll keep that in mind. Anyway, let's continue on our merry way. The only orb we have left is to flame all of the statues. And some of those go back to the beginning of the level. Oh, you can do some hardcore parkour in Colossus. I think there's one near the beginning? Uh, no. Okay, they start once you, like, actually enter the temple through this mouth thing. There, there's two of them. And then there's another one, and I know where the last one is. Boop. 
boop. There we go. Next one is over here in this corner. And then the final one, I believe, is inside. Where the dude is like, look what I can do. I was born in the darkness. You merely adopted the darkness. There it is. Well done, Spyro! You've scared the evil spirit away! Why don't you take this? I borrowed it from the temple. Eh, they don't need it. <laughs> wow, Professor. How morally upstanding of you. Eh, they don't need it. No. 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 They, don't, they don't need it? Why would they need it? Come on. It's just a... It's just a... Ancient... Ancient artifact that with immense power. Yeah, they all need it. Even though I'm a vegetarian, I think you should kill that yeti. He's pretty tough though. In fact, I'm not so sure you're up to it. I like how the guys in charge of the subtitles got to the censorship before the guys in charge of the voice acting and the audio. Cause he said kill. And I don't think they were okay with that, so they changed it to torch. But I don't think the voice actors got the memo. <sighs> okay, whatever. Anyway, he makes it sound like we've got ourselves quite a tough boss on our hands. Which is interesting, we're not even near like the end of the world. But alright, I'll bite. Let's fight. I thought the Yeti was tougher than that. I guess he was all bark. <laughs> anyway, I was just guarding our sacred talisman to make sure the Yeti didn't eat it. Still harder than some of the Spyro 1 bosses. Alright, there we go. We got the talisman and all of the gems right here. <laughs> There we go, Colossus is 100%, and now we can easily talk to Moneybags. Oh. I don't know what the plan is here. This seems like it could go horribly wrong. I, oh my god! Oh, oh, he's dead. That, that monk has a power he didn't even know he had. I think Anakin, er, I think Luke should probably, that, that should probably be the dude m m Luke murders in his sleep. Yeah, topical references. Hello, money bags. Hello there, Spyro. Would you like to learn to swim underwater? I suppose I could teach you for, ahem, a small fee? Okay, you don't have to learn to swim yet. But you won't get far in Avalar until you do. Hello there. Great. Okay, when you jump in the water, you can use the D-pad to move around the surface. Use square to dive underwater. When you are underwater, use X to paddle and square to charge. Alright, we have learned how to swim and oh my god, all my poor little gems. We lost more than half of them. <laughs> but anyway, now we can swim underwater. It controls amazingly. And next time, we will be finishing up the rest of the home world and possibly going to Idle Springs. What? See you then.